we start to see new information that no one has ever seen before and those patterns and trends are creating opportunities for us. Hello, I'm Mark Sorza leslie I'm the co-founder of Beringer. Beringer creates clever spaces that unlock potential. We do that using smart sensors powered by machine learning that make buildings talk. In, in our business, there are really three people that are, are using device pilot. We have Phil, who's uh, our CTO, and Phil is using that to make sure that the sensors are uh, communicating with the network in the right way. Uh, we have myself and Paul Byrne, the co-founder. Paul and I are both using it because we are facing the customer and we want to be able to understand what's going on uh, with the data. But I guess finally and most importantly, we're letting the clients put their hands on device pilot and use it for themselves. They can see exactly what's going on in near real time and, and know that they can trust the information that we're collecting. We absolutely needed device pilot because we were getting raw data from some of our prototype sensors and with a very short period of time where we basically wanted to present that data to ourselves and to produce a solution we could put in front of multiple customers. Before using device pilot, the big challenge that we had was actually just letting our clients see the data that our devices were collecting. Um, for the first part of our business, we've been focusing on making the hardware work, making sure that the data is flowing but when we move to a client site, we need to let the client see exactly what's going on. So Device Pilot allowed us to do that very quickly and very easily. So it was about six months into our journey, we started using uh, Device Pilot uh, and using that not just in a test sense, but actually deploying that for some uh, commercial trials with clients. Initially, the reasons we were using Device Pilot was to get us to going quickly to market. It's lovely working with a tool where we're not deep in the technical documentation, but we're putting data in and it starts appearing as we think it should. There's not a period of uncertainty, why can't we get this to work? We put the stuff in, click, it appeared, it was great. There are really three different things that Device Pilot has enabled us to do. The first and the most important thing is to make sure that our devices are live and functioning so we can see that clearly and at a glance. The second thing is that we can allow our clients to have access to the data and let them be comfortable of what we're collecting. I think the final thing and, and probably the most important thing is that we start to see patterns and trends. We start to see new information that no one has ever seen before and those patterns and trends are creating opportunities for us. For me, Device Pilot is a platform that lets me manage my assets. It's a way of me knowing and understanding precisely what's going on uh, with my assets, making sure that they're live and functioning, and making sure that if there's anything that's going on that I should be aware of, I'm alerted to it. Device Pilot is our visualization into the operation of our network. The wow moments when you see the data flowing for the first time, when you connect your sensor up and you start to see the data coming through Device Pilot, you know that everything's working, but more importantly than that, you start to see the patterns emerging in front of you. We are collecting data about buildings that no one has ever seen, use patterns about buildings that no one's ever seen. So when you start to see that flowing, start to see that appearing on your dashboard, it's an incredible feeling. <laughs>